Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Clay and in today's video, we're going to be checking out my best MTZ556 class setup in Modern Warfare 3. If you're new to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and also like the video. Let's try to get this video to 55 likes, I'd highly appreciate it and it helps out the channel a bunch. Over on the secondary, we're going to be going with the Renetti. Tactical is the Stem. Lethal Simtex. Field Upgrade is Munitions Box. Scavenger gloves, cover sneakers for the boots, and EOD padding for the gear. Over on the vest, we're going to be going with the demolition vest. This gives you resupply and two lethals. Now, before getting into the class setup, this is probably my favorite class setup. I know I like to say that a lot, but honestly, since I made this class and I changed around, I think, one or two attachments, I actually ended up dropping an MGB with this setup. Um... It, this is honestly the best class setup. I'm never ever making a, another class setup like this. I hope you guys enjoy it. Now let's jump straight into it. Now this is a personal preference attachment. I like to go with the Slate Reflector and the MK3 uh, Reflector. You can really use anything you want, but for my class setup, this is what we will be using always another personal preference attachment this is going to give you just more ammo i'm going for nukes in my gameplays so this helps out a lot the 50 round drum definitely helps out a ton the cons are aimed on size speed movement speed reload quickness and sprint to fire speed and over on the stock we're going to be going with the mtz marauder stock this gives you recoil control and gun kick control you lose out on a little bit of sprint to fire speed sprint speed and movement speed and over on the muzzle, we're going to be going with the L4R flash hider muzzle. This gives you muzzle flash concealment, recoil control, and gun kick control. I would like to recommend this one. And you can also go with the T5-1R billeted break. This gives you a lot of vertical recoil control, firing aim stability, and gun kick control. If you do not like the L4R, definitely use this one. And we're also going to be using the MTZ Clinch Pro Barrel. This gives you bullet velocity, damage range, aiming auto sway, and firing aim stability. Like I said, I ended up dropping an MGB. I was trying a lot of different uh, class setups during the day, and this one definitely helped out a lot. I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. A small percentage of people that watch my videos are subscribed, so if you like this video, consider subscribing, and also follow me on Twitch where I stream and play with followers. Also, if you'd like to, you can follow me on Twitter where you can stay up to date with me. And I also have a Discord, so if you'd like to, we can connect more on there. Now let's get back to the video. Alright, we're going to be checking out the MTZ556 today. I haven't... I've, been, I've played four games, and I haven't had any, like success or anything so hopefully me knowing this map i can probably do something there's a guy right there he's playing a little slow I don't think there's anybody back there right now, but need to keep that in mind. They're still spawning back here. Told you, I, I knew that. I knew there was gonna be somebody. I think I'm gonna go ahead and move because I don't want them to know that I'm always gonna be right there. This map is pretty easy to get comfortable whenever you're getting a lot of kills in one place, but you never want to do that. Especially with how spawns are. You gotta stay moving. Oh, well, that was a nice kill. Oh. Let's call this in. So paranoid. Oh. Thought I heard something. My Overwatch Hilo just took my kill. That was funny. I think they're spawning in the back of P3. So, I'm going to do this. 
Nobody's around me, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this right here. All right, we got an we got an advance right now. That guy has a riot shield on. My God, what am I shooting at? Teammate has a UAV. That's actually big. Just gotta be careful. I'm gonna try to go top snow right here. I was gonna say I can get behind him here, but. Alright, yeah, that's 16. Seventeen teammates are spawning behind us. I'm gonna go um, in ten. Hopefully, not be seen by one of them. I'll go up top over here. I don't think they see me. But there is one top third. Kill him. Kill that guy. Another UAV would be uh, pretty nice. Well, that was a pretty easy kill. I don't know what we're on right now, but I need to pay attention to back here. Caught in a mosquito drone. Okay, my well, teammate just died. Can these guys like push out of here? There's the nuke right there. Like I'm playing super slow for a reason. Like look at these guys. They're probably all sitting in here with snipers. No, yeah, that's, I mean, what am I supposed to do to that? I can push up if I want to, but I just don't want to get sniped. Yeah, I mean, we still got the nuke. That guy is... That was a nice kill on him. I give it to him. Yeah, I'm not dealing with that. It's every game for me. Nothing but snipers looking at one spot. They don't even know how to play the objective, bro. Like, if you're gonna snipe, at least try to play the objective. Help out your team. Well, they're set. They're setting up for new. So I guess that's okay. I'm gonna go behind them here.
And that is how you get away from a riot shelter. Just keep running. And hope that you run into a teammate. Because they can't kill both of you. You're not doing it again. We could probably drop a double, actually. If I keep running at them... No, I messed up. Let's call in the advance. No, I didn't mean to call that in. Okay, well, I'll have a TDM game for you guys because I know that's probably not long enough. Oh, well, it is. Okay, that, I mean, that works out. 65 kills with a nuke. There's no telling how many more I'll get. That guy's still sniping. 69 kills though, GG's.